It's a pleasure to introduce you to this year's salutatorian, Aaron Newcomer. My name is Aaron Newcomer. Uh, I'm a senior. I've been here for four years, and I'm a student council co-president. Being given the opportunity to go to school here is something that has greatly influenced who I am as a person. I've suffered from an anxiety disorder since I was young, and the very thought of attending school would send me into spirals of panic attacks. At my old school, I just I didn't really fit in. Um, and it wasn't, for me, the academics weren't hard to keep up with. It was more of the social. So school for me before was always a source of anxiety. I think um, compared to my old school, just having this really tight-knit support network to kind of help me and chicken on me at all times has been really helpful, but it's also pushed me towards independence at the same time. I think everybody comes from a different background, but we all have the similarity of not really thriving at the place we were before. One of the big differences is the class sizes. So they're significantly smaller, um, which I enjoy because then you have more of a one-on-one -on -one with the teachers. Teaching isn't just lecturing here, it's, it's projects and it's so much more. There's so much stuff you can do. Well, I know next that I'm gonna go to Kalamazoo College and I'm actually really excited for that. Um, I know I wanna study the humanities because that's something that at my time here, I've, I've really learned to love and appreciate. I know there's so many different things I wanna do. The Leland Hall School has allowed me to flourish as a person. I found things that I'm passionate about and felt excited to challenge myself. In a matter of four years, my attitude has done a complete 180. That's not to say I'm always a ray of sunshine. And nobody knows that better than my parents. They took the risk two times over to send me into situations that might not end successfully. They let go of a scared little girl who couldn't stand to leave the house, and now they get to see the confident, hopeful, and very grateful young woman that stands before them. None of this, and I mean none of this, would have been possible without my mom and dad. I can't even begin to express my gratitude in any other way than to say I love you unconditionally and I will always strive to make you proud.